Hello, this is Glenn Berry. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Intel Memory and Storage tool, including how to download it, install it, and actually use it. All right, once you've found the download for the Intel Memory and Storage tool, just go ahead and download it, and you'll have to accept the license agreement, obviously. And it comes down pretty quickly. It's only about 53 megabytes. And then once that's done, we can take a look inside the zip file and see what's there. And what you'll find is the actual setup program and then several different PDFs with release notes and user guides. So we're gonna take a look at the release notes real quickly. And this talks about the enhancements in the program. This is a big improvement over the previous version, by the way. It also shows a list of all the SSDs and the latest firmware versions for those SSDs. So that's nice. And this also supports client SSDs and data center SSDs. The next step is to actually install the Intel Memory and Storage tool. And when the setup program starts, it's going to give you some options for how you want it to install. And then after that, you'll have to accept the license agreement. And then finally, you go ahead and click install and wait a while. This takes a little bit, so just be patient. All right, so after getting this installed, we're going to go ahead and run it and see what it does. So this will come up with a splash screen. And then you see the new GUI for this version of Intel Memory and Storage Tool. And it shows you all the drives that it can see and their high level status. And I have one Intel drive here and one Samsung drive. And you can also see there's a few options at the top where you can go in and look at your settings, for example. And this shows you some system information about your system at a very high level, mainly about the drives. And then there's a system tuner option you'll see in just a second. And that lets you make a few changes as far as how it's behaving with Superfetch or ReadyBoost. And you can change the language and whether or not to show Intel or non-Intel drives. So there's not a whole lot there, to be honest. It's not nearly as sophisticated as a Samsung magician. But now you can see that I have a firmware update that I need to get for my Intel Optane drive. And then it shows the Samsung drive and some information about it. So now that we know we need a firmware update, it's out of date, we'll go ahead and click the firmware update button and it shows you the current version and the new version. And then once you click firmware update, it's gonna go ahead and start the firmware update process. And I was a little surprised it, it didn't even wanna reboot after this. It just went in and updated the firmware. It didn't take very long at all. And then it comes up with a success message, hopefully. And you click go. And then you can go and refresh right there in the GUI, and now we see that the status is up to date. And that's what we want to see. That was the point of doing all this, getting the firmware up to date. So now we can see how to use the Intel Memory and Storage tool to maintain your Intel storage devices. This is Glenn Berry, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Thanks for watching.